Hello everyone and welcome to this new chapter for the STM32 tutorial. This is the time where we are going to start understanding and controlling the clock system of the STM32. And why this is the second chapter? Because it will be impacting all the rest of the chapters and we will see it later on why. So within this chapter, to make it simple and easy, I divide it to four episodes. The first episode will be understanding the clock system. We need to start somewhere. We are going to understand the clock system and also see how to read the clock from a, a digital or a signal analyzer way and to see how to capture the clock speed from the microcontroller itself. In the second video, we will build the clock support functions. So just in case, because in the first chapter we will need a logic analyzer or an oscilloscope to read the signal. But if we don't have that, there is ways to build function that will allow us to read the value of the system. And this is not enough because we still need in the previous episode, if we are planning to change our clock speed, we still need to have the we still need to have the the ability to understand our clock so we can use it to manipulate our function in the future. And after that, we are going to see the most important chapter, the third one, which is up the, about updating the clock and unleashing the beast of the microcontroller. So usually the microcontroller, when they start, they are at 16 megahertz, and we will see why. But we will see how we can unleash their power and exceed the 100 megahertz of the power of this microcontroller. Then for the final um, chapter or the fourth one, we will go through the important takeaways. The important takeaways are the information that we need to understand when we change our clock. So we will be taking a look on the impact on the buses that are coming after the clock system. And this is something we will see later on and also the impact on the power consumption. And for each one of those chapters, we will be using a different microcontroller for the STM32 F4 families. So you can see that this code can be used to whatever the microcontroller you will have from the STM32 F4 family. Hope you will enjoy this chapter and see you soon in the next episode.